Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on the topic I have a dream. Before going to start this lesson in detail, let me tell you about the objectives that you are supposed to attain at the completion of this lesson. First of all, as usual, we have theme, then main idea, explanation or translation of the lesson, words meaning, short questions, and MCQs. Now you see, today we will discuss some paragraphs of the same lesson. So let me present first of all the sketch of those paragraphs. Our destiny tied up with each other. Now you see Martin Luther King were just delivering his speech to the people assembled over there. Mostly they were majority of a black people, but there were also some white people. So he refers to those people, those white people who are also the part of that mob, that gathering. He tells them that uh, their fortune, their luck, des their destiny are closely connected with the destiny of black people. Furthermore, he says that uh, he told the people, the black people who were assembled over there, that they should go ahead. They should go ahead and they will ne never return, they will never go back, rather they will uh, lead to, towards their purpose, their aim, their goal, their destination. Apart from that, he says that uh, they cannot be satisfied as long as they are the victim of police br br brutality. He means to say that mostly the black people were oppressed by the, by the police. They were treated very badly. They were, means they were a victim of atrocities of the uh, police means white people who are also from there. So apart from that, he emphatically said that uh, as long as we cannot get lodging in hotels and models, they cannot be satisfied. But once again, he said that they cannot be satisfied until unless they are given lodging, they are given dwelling, they are given place in the hotels and models. Models refers to those uh, hotels which are situated on the highways. So. He says that uh, they cannot be satisfied unless unless they are victim of police brutality, police atrocities, police oppressiveness, and uh, they cannot be satisfied until they are given, they are given place, they are given lodging, they are given dwelling in the hotels and motels. Uh, apart from that, he says that as long as the Negroes move from the smaller, backward, congested areas, they cannot be satisfied until the black people, the Negroes, are moving from the ghettos, from the slums, backward areas for minorities to, to, bigger, to bigger areas, which are also means backward and slums areas. Further, he says that uh, they cannot be satisfied until they are treated with goodness and justice. You see, he says, categorically that they cannot be satisfied until unless they are treated badly with uh, means with inequity with injustice so they cannot be satisfied it means to say that they should be they should be they should be treated with justice with equality furthermore he says that uh, they cannot be satisfied until they are uh, treated with justice Apart from that, he says that uh, they are assembled. They are assembled, and means uh, uh, to the people who are assembled over there to whom uh, Martin Luther King is addressing. They have come to from uh, jails, freshly from jails and from ghettos, from back backward areas of America. So he referred to those people as well that they were persecuted. They were means uh, uh, they were being. Uh, uh, treated very cruelly by the police and they have experienced different harassment uh, from uh, the, on the side of police on the part of police now he says that uh, they have experienced police atrocities they should go back with the hope their situation will get changed now you see though they were treated badly by the police they were harassed they were persecuted by police but still uh, Martin Luther King is going to to put uh, the wave of hope 
in their uh, in their hearts that they should go back to their respective places with the hope that one day a change would come okay now this is this was a brief sketch of the paragraph that we are going to read today so let's take a start from the book open your book at page 42 we have page 42 and we have the fourth paragraph and please open your books at page 42 and we have the second last paragraph of the same page and we walk and as we walk we must make the pledge do you know what is pledge pledge means promise or wow promise or wow ahead karna promise as we walk we must make the pledge we must make this pledge that we shall that we shall march ahead we shall march ahead cannot turn back now you see he is asking the people who are assembled over there that they should go ahead to achieve their respective goals and they would never turn back they would not, never return there are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights asking the devotees devotees means supporter devotees means supporter or ardent followers pakke jo kya hote perokar jo hote hain we call it a devotees means that there are also there are those people assembled over here he refers to the black people the devotees of civil civil means related to citizens civil rights means rights which are related to citizens so he means to say there are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights when will you be satisfied when will you be satisfied we can never be satisfied means that black people who are the supporters who are the devotees of civil rights they can never be satisfied until unless they are given their equal rights the until unless they are given they are given what their due rights their privileges and their amenities we can never be satisfied as, as long as the negroes is a, the victim victim means target victim means a target until unless they are the victim they are the target of the unspeakable unspeakable means undescribable undescribable horrors horrors means fears horrors means fears of police brutality brutality means atrocity zula atrocity oppressiveness victim of the unspeakable undescribable horrors of police brutality he means to say that negroes cannot be satisfied until they are victim they are targeted of police brutality we can never be satisfied as long as our body is heavy fatigue fatigue do you know fatigue means labor mehnat mushakkat toil fatigue means labor or toil of travel means that negroes cannot be satisfied until they are heavy they are too much exhausted they are too much tired with the fatigue of travel with the labor of tri travel cannot gain lodging in the motels of the highways and hotels of the cities he means to say that negroes cannot be satisfied until they are given place they are given lodging in the hotels of the city and motels of the highways which are situated on the highways on the roads we cannot be satisfied as long as the negroes basic mo mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger ghetto now so once again he is emphatically and categorically says that uh, the negroes cannot be satisfied until they are living in what in slums areas in the ghettos in the backward congested areas reserved for uh, minorities so ghettos means what does it mean ghettos and slums both are the same thing so ghettos means backward congested areas we cannot be satisfied as long as negroes basic mobility mobility means movement mobility means a movement is from a smaller ghetto to a larger ghetto we can never be satisfied as long as negro in mississippi cannot vote he means to say that they cannot be satisfied until the the negroes the black people in mississippi are given 
right to vote, a given right to vote. And, and a Negro in New York believes he has nothing for which to vote until unless the, those Negroes who are living in uh, New York, they are uh, means they believe until they believe that uh, there is nothing for which to vote, means they do not until unless they believe, they do not believe uh, for the vote they are uh, given for. No one, we are not satisfied. No, no, we are not satisfied. He, once again, he is stressing upon his words. He emphasizing, he is emphasizing on his words that no, no, they cannot be satisfied. And uh, we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down. Rolls down means flows down, drifts down. Behna. Rolls down like waters. He means to say that uh, Negroes cannot be satisfied and the justice, justice flows down like a, like waters, like river. And righteousness, righteousness means goodness, like a mighty stream. Mighty means big, heavy, large stream. Do you know stream refers to rivulet? Okay. So I mean, to, he means to say that they, the Negroes cannot be satisfied until until justice rolls down, flows down like a river and uh, uh, righteousness is goodness, virtuousness, like what? Uh, like a, a stream. Now you see, rolls down means drift down, righteousness means goodness or virtuousness. Okay, now the next paragraph, I am sure, I am not mindful, I am not unmindful, it means I am mindful. It means I am aware. I am aware. I am mindful means I am aware that some of you have come here out of the great highs and tribulation. Now you see he is addressing the people who are assembled over there that uh, he knows that most of the people in the mob, in that crowd, in that gathering, they have freshly come from what? They have passed through many, through many trials and tribulation. Trials means a smash. Ordeals, we call it a kind of tribulation means ordeals. He means to say that he knows that many of those people who are assembled over there in Washington DC, they have come from a they, they have passed through many trials and tribulation and ordeals after reaching here. Some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. He knows that some of those people who were gathered over there in Washington DC. And they had come from what? They had come from jails, from narrow jails, cells. Some of you have come from areas where you were quest for freedom. Quest means such. Quest means such, talash. For freedom left you battered. Better means stricken. To strike something, better stricken. It means to say that many of you in, in search of freedom have been battered, have been stricken by the storms of persecution. Persecution, you know, what is persecution? Persecution means harassment, suffering. It means he refers to those people who had come from distant areas and who had uh, freshly uh, come from jails and uh, cells, narrow cells. Uh, they were being stricken, they were being what? Persecuted, they were being harassed uh, and staggered by the winds of police brutality he says that uh, they have been stricken, they have been means persecuted and they are walking unsteadily. Staggered means walk unsteadily. Staggered means walk unsteadily. Okay? To walk means uh, to walk with the, with, means with imbalance. So he says to the people who are gathered over there, he says that most of the people have come from what? From narrow cells of uh, prisons. And they have been persecuted, they have been stricken. With what? By the police brutality. Brutality means atrocity, cruelty. Brutality means oppressiveness, cruelty. So those Negroes were means treated badly, cruelly by police. You have come. You have been the veterans 
of creative sufferings vital means experienced means that the black people have experienced the police brutalities suffering creative suffering means the suffering which has been created for them creative suffering i mean to say that the suffering which is being compensated that is known as creative suffering continue to work with the faith that unearned unearned means which is caused by someone else not by your own action by someone else unearned means caused by others not by you means a kind of sufferings which is not caused by one's action but by someone else so he means to say that uh, continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive redemptive means redeeming uh, compensative so he means to say he is addressing the people who are assembled who are those black people they are they are passing through very hard time they are being treated cruelly by police but he they should know that such kind of sufferings which is not caused by then by them themselves those sufferings would be what that would be redemptive that would be compensative they would get the reward for that they would get the reward for their sufferings go back to mrs p now he is addressing that they should go back to mrs p go back to alabama go back to south carolina go back to georgia go back to louisiana go back to slums slums the backward congested areas thickly populated areas are known as a slums and ghettos of our northern cities he is addressing the people who are assembled over there that they should go back to their respective places with the hope that one day they would be they would be free they would be given justice northern cities knowing that somehow the situation came and will be changed with the hope they should go back to the respective areas that one day the situation will get changed the situation will get a change let us not allow well in the way of despair this is a very beautiful sentence he is asking the people assembled people who are there that they should not be hopeless they should not be well and means rolling well and means rolling in the way of despair in the way of hopelessness he means to say that they should not be frustrated they should not be pessimistic they should not be hopeless they should go back to the places in which they are living with the hope that one day they would be given justice they would be granted their means their respective rights i say to you today my friends that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations frustration means hopelessness frustration means hopelessness frustration and despair having the same in hopelessness i still have a dream frustration of the moment i still have a dream now you see he is just expressing his own hope his own optimism he is addressing the people that though there are difficulties there is a kind of hopelessness but still he has a dream he has a vision it is a dream deeply rooted in the american dream now you see he refers to his dream that his dream is deeply immersed absorbed in the american dream i have a dream that one day this nation still have a dream I, it is a dream deeply rooted deeply rooted means a must absorb in the american dreams i have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed creed means faith creed means faith belief it means to say that one day the nation will rise up. they will rise and it will work it will achieve those creeds or beliefs for which it has been created creed means beliefs fair one day this nation this democratic nation will rise and it will prove it will prove the real faith the real belief the real creed for which it has been created means that uh, there will be equal rights to all 
for all the citizens. There will be democracy everywhere. Okay, so the next we have another few lines and those are 